is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Ahead on tonight's CBS Evening News, Eye on America, why this man expects his salad days to last for 120 years. Among the first Europeans to explore America was Juan Ponce de Leon, who sought the fabled Fountain of Youth. Now, 500 years later, federal scientists have launched their own search for the key to living longer. A three-year, $20 million study of how a particular diet may stretch the human lifespan. Medical correspondent Elizabeth Calladin reports in tonight's Eye on America. At the National Institutes of Health, scientists, with the help of monkeys, may be unlocking the mysteries of long life. The answer, it seems, is not the magic of technology or powerful new drugs, but something much simpler. Food. A lot less food. There's no question that the diet contributes to aging and disease. For 15 years, researchers have compared rhesus monkeys fed normal diets to those fed 30% less. The monkeys eating fewer calories have lived much longer and avoided disease. We have determined that several markers of potential age-related disease have been reduced in the monkeys on calorie restriction. How eating less affects the aging process is still unclear. One theory is, simply put, that when the body has fewer calories, it has to decide more wisely how to use them, and they tend to be invested in self-preservation. If we can begin to understand what it is that relates to the fact that you can get this extension of life and then put it in a bottle, have it as a medicine, that might be fantastic. The basement kitchen. The Dean Palmerlow isn't waiting for any medicine. Convinced by the animal studies, he and a small group of people are already practicing calorie restriction in the hopes of living longer. Ideally, I'd, I'd like to shoot for, for 120. 120 years. Yeah, yeah. Eat my salad. Three times a day, Palmerlow consumes huge portions of salad. It's heavy. It's about six pounds worth of vegetables that I eat in a day. He also eats sprouts homegrown in his basement, fruit, orange roughy tonight, and small quantities of lean protein like fish. The bulk of the diet that I eat keeps me from getting hungry. In two and a half years, Dean's lost 45 pounds. The extreme thinness has meant brittler bones and a decreased libido, but his health, he says, is better than ever. I haven't had a cold that's lasted more than half a day in the two and a half years since I started. I think my mood and sense of well-being have improved substantially since uh, beginning the diet. Palmerlow admits it's extreme, but... I see it as worth it to experience more of life to give up a, a slice of pizza. That is unlikely to be a view shared by most Americans now notorious for loving their food. So even if calorie restriction does work in extending human years, scientists may find their biggest challenge is convincing people to trade in quality of life for quantity of life. In Wexford, Pennsylvania, I'm Elizabeth Caledon for Eye on America.